Okay YouTube, this is going to be a quick video to show you the uh, RC Geek Center Burner Simulated Afterburner set up on the FMS 70mm uh, Super Viper. You'll see here what it looks like after it's installed. There are three set screws <clears throat> that you'll have to supply yourself. I also used some duct tape around it just to make sure that it didn't move. Um, you're going to need a two cell battery to operate the actual LEDs. It does not hook up to your flight pack. Uh, this is a couple examples of what two cell batteries will work. They have the JST connectors uh, typically and what you have to do, uh, the battery connection on the uh, simulator is bare so you'll have to come up with a uh, uh, basically the male side of the JST connector and just solder the wires. It's not that hard to do. Uh, when you're connecting the set screws I recommend using some thread lock just to make sure that they don't move. That takes a little while to dry. And then you're going to have to thread the wires uh, through the fuselage up to the area where your receiver is, um, which isn't that hard, but it's a kind of a pain in the neck. And then to program where you want the LEDs to come on, it's in this video, but basically you set the throttle position at the point you want it to come on. The little controller that comes with the afterburner system has a button on it. You just press it twice and then that's where the uh, LEDs will start to come on. I have mine set at about 50% uh, and I'm going to show that to you now. Alright, this is the RC Geeks center burner system put into the FMS Super Viper 70mm. I'm in the process of putting it in and I'm testing it now without the motor on. I have it set to go on at about 50% throttle. I think that's going to look pretty good. Alright, going to take out the Viper going to see the uh, afterburner. It's 28 degrees, a little wind, and it's blurring. 